Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are talking about Vue and Docker. I hope you enjoy this video and let's do it. So let's check Vue version. I have 4.4.5. Let's create the Vue project. Go to Vue and yeah. Okay, it's finished. Okay, let's change the directories. On change directory and let's run the server to check what is the view project default okay it's that only a HTML with all the installed plugins then let's open a VS code that's all okay here is our app view we are going to delete all the stuff that we don't need this is the name of the app. Let's check the main. Yeah, it has all the production tip, the imports that we need, and all the stuff that we need. So let's start erasing all that we don't need. Okay. Then erase this one and this is the name let's change it um okay that's all we need to change create another css okay now we need to change the component name right here and the import to components yeah let's check okay it is nothing it's okay perfect so let's start with something let's put a hello right there message right there okay let's convert it to a header okay that's all let's change the message for i love dog view in docker that's all okay we have the message right there let's start with an image we need two image okay we need the source of the image but wait we need the image before so let's import it okay. i don't have right now our images we need to bring an image okay so in this case i will use one of the view logo not this one this one is there right okay we have our two images let's change the imports okay okay we have our two imports let's put that data right here okay and let's set the two images to return view image and docker image right now we are returning our data and we can use it in the source okay let's set a alt okay alternative text let's set a class Oops. class and the same name yeah and let's set a class for the header title another class for the container and that's all so oh okay uh okay yeah and it's running we have our two images there doesn't have a css so let's create it 
four classes we need. Okay. Position, the first one need to be relative. And the other ones are absolute. But first, the height of this, 100 bh. The width, 100%. Okay. Position absolute. Width, 20 rem, left, calc. I use always calc because you can set the 50% minus the half of the width and you are centering the image. So that's how I center these images. Okay. Width of 60 rems. Left calc, as I said, 15 minus 30 is the half. Okay, top 33 rems. Turn size or rem. Text align, center. Okay, we have the title right now set. We need to set a width for this one too. We need to center it. Okay. At top. Okay. And that's all. Oh, the Docker image is small. Let's put a, another one. Okay, it's better. That's all. We have our CSS. Okay, the next thing the next thing we need to do is to build the the project. So let's build it. There. And the build will create this folder and that's all. So right now it's not working because I stopped it. Let's create a Docker file. And step one, build view project yeah. from node 12 Alpine. We are using Alpine because it's a, a, a good distro to use in a Docker image. So in this case, I'm using Alpine and its tag is build. So next we need to create a work there, appj app. Mm -hmm. And then we need to copy the package JSON into that folder. Yeah. The package JSON contains all the packages that we need to install to run the, the build process and it will copy right there. Then we need to run npm install to install all the packages that we have right here. And we need to copy all the node modules. Then we need to, okay, it's copying all the node modules in that folder, run npm run build to build our project. So it will create this folder and we need the index.html to make work. So let's set a step two, create engine server. And we need to start with engines. We are using engines because it's a, a easy way to set a, a server. So we are using again the Alpine one and yeah so as prod stage then we need to copy all the all the info that we had in the, the build stage that is app that dist 
that is the folder that the build created that folder and we need to put it in the user shared engines HTML folder we need to expose the port in this case I will expose the 80 and we need to run the engine command oops okay okay engine dash g demon of yeah and that's all folks that's all for the step two for the step one so we can start building our image so let's build it but first we need to check the containers we don't have in the other running containers we don't have the images we don't have images as you can see we don't have containers running let's build our container let build we need Okay, docker build is the command then we need that dash t for the tag and a dot don't forget the dot is to set all the uh, things that are in that folder so let's clear docker images we have our images right there we have the node image that uh, we asked from node and the engines image from engines next thing we need to do is to run it but first let's check we don't have containers let's run it run dash p for the port okay we have the dash p and the port 80 that we are exposing on docker and the other port is the port that we are using to access dash it to get the information in the console and we need to set a docker name container name so in this case we need to set the image that we are using for that container and right now it's running okay let's check that in this docker okay is the same thing we have right there the the access to our page and the cpu usage and the memory usage let's copy this one okay and right there and voila we have our our page i love view and docker and we are running right now our project in docker okay let's stop it it is not working because it's stopped let's run it again and now it's working again let's clear right here let's check the running containers okay we have the command that is running there is created about a minute ago the status is okay the ports okay the 80 that we are exposing and the names okay let's stop it okay it's stopped there is no working because it is stopped okay okay let's stop it again let's run it right here and let's run with it without the port and without anything as you can see we cannot show the the page because we are creating another container we are running another container so in this case we haven't set a, a port so that's why we are not having access to that page so let's check all our containers that we have okay we have the name that's all we have right here two containers and let's remove them okay we can remove it by the names or by their id 
Okay, right now we don't have containers. Let's check. No, no containers running, no containers. And else. Let's erase our images. We have these four images. Let's erase them with the IDs. Okay, that's all. That's all, folks. We have finished for, uh, for this video. So thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of topics, please follow me. If you want to know how to do it with React or Angular, I will let the cards right here. So thanks a lot and bye-bye.